Welcome to Tech Studio. Today, we're exploring an intriguing question. Why can a Chinese gadget company successfully produce electric cars, while Apple, a tech giant, has yet to enter the market? Let's dive in. Chinese gadget companies like Xiaomi and Huawei have made headlines by venturing into the electric vehicle, EV, market. Meanwhile, despite numerous rumors, Apple has yet to release an electric car. What's going on here? First, let's talk about market strategy. Chinese gadget companies have a history of diversifying their product lines. From smartphones to smart home devices, they've built a reputation for innovation and adaptability. Venturing into the EV market is a natural extension of their existing product ecosystem. On the other hand, Apple has always been more focused on perfecting a smaller range of products. Their commitment to creating seamless user experiences and high-quality devices means they take their time to ensure perfection. Entering the EV market would require a significant shift in their strategy. Next, let's consider supply chain and manufacturing capabilities. Chinese gadget companies have established extensive supply chains and manufacturing networks in China, which is also a major hub for EV production. This gives them an advantage in sourcing materials and components for electric cars. Apple, while having a robust supply chain for consumer electronics, would need to develop new partnerships and capabilities to produce electric vehicles. This is a complex and time-consuming process. Regulatory and market challenges also play a role. The Chinese government has been heavily investing in and supporting the EV industry through subsidies and incentives. This has created a conducive environment for Chinese companies to enter the market. Apple, on the other hand, would need to navigate different regulatory environments and establish market presence in multiple regions, adding to the complexity of launching an electric car. Innovation and timing are crucial factors. Chinese gadget companies are known for their rapid innovation cycles, often releasing new products and technologies at a fast pace. This agility allows them to quickly adapt to new markets and opportunities. Apple, however, tends to take a more deliberate approach. Their focus on long-term innovation and market disruption means they might wait until they can offer something truly revolutionary in the EV market. So, while Chinese gadget companies have successfully entered the electric vehicle market, Apple's cautious and perfectionist approach means they're taking their time to get it right. Both strategies have their own merits and challenges. And there you have it. A comprehensive look at why a Chinese gadget company can make an electric car and Apple can't, at least not yet. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in technology. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Tech Insights.